Hi, my name's Charles. This video tour, I'm just going to show you how to create a Jupyter Bootstrap sub theme. So, first thing we need to do is install boot, Bootstrap, which is a Jupyter.org project Bootstrap. And I'm just going to go on the zip here. I'll just copy the link address and then I'll just go in modules, install a new module. Just go paste the URL on here and install okay you will just enable the new added theme okay so we can see we've got the bootstrap theme here to make a sub theme i'm just going to show you the most easiest quickest way so first of all we need to go to your Jupyter site folder your all folder and you have a theme folder i'm just going to refresh this Okay, so here we see the bootstrap theme. And here we go, we've got the bootstrap sub theme. Just go click on this. And I'll just go drag it up here. Yep. Yeah. And we just go here. And do you see this bit where it says bootstrap sub theme info? We just um, go, we just rename it and we just move the bit with data kit so it should just be bootstrap sub theme info and you can change the name of the theme here if you want so if you download the info file you can change what the theme is actually called but just go keep this really simple for this video at all and we just refresh so we should see our sub theme show down here okay we see here's our sub theme we enable and set default to sub theme. Just wait for the lines up. Okay, we saw sub themes now. Default theme. Just show you it is. We just go to home page and there you are. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching my video. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to customize the teasers in Bootstrap using views. If you like this video, please like it. Or if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And you can find more um, video tools at jupyter.tutestuff.com dot com and we sell themes there too so if you want to get a good cheaper theme we you can find one there many thanks for watching again take care bye